So I've um, broken my wrist, which has put me out of action in terms of making ceramics, at least for, for a while, hopefully only a few weeks. But I'm not going to stop working. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some drawing. I'm not going to think of the things that I can't do. I'm going to think of the things that I can do. And one of them is that I can draw. So I've been out this morning for a walk uh, in one of my favorite places on the dunes, and I've taken a few photographs. It's um, quite quite an amazing landscape and a, a, certainly a great environment to have on my doorstep. It feels sort of like being in, a, in another world, really. I'm very interested in the, the shapes in this landscape um, as well as as well as colours, although today it wasn't a, it was a bit of a cloudy day, so the colours weren't amazing. And I, I like like this path that goes through through the landscape. It's a sort of very natural looking landscape, but there's lots of human made interventions within it, including paths and little buildings. Um, and then the, there's the, the, the sea is always sort of in the background, um, like here. You look beyond the dunes down onto the beach and it's a big area it's sort of three or four miles long and maybe half a mile deep so there's there's quite a lot to explore so i've been out and walked there and then i've, I've taken these photographs and what i was going to do is just do some work in my sketchbook at the moment just sort of quite you know literally working from these images so i was just looking at the the composition of some of the images that I've taken and looking at the shapes in the landscape. So I'm just going to look at that and work from that. So I'm going to have, uh, I've got my iPad next to me and uh, just for, for reference. And although my wrist is broken, I've, I've found that I can, I can draw with my, my, uh, my hand. Uh, I can move my fingers quite well. But it is limiting, so this the sort of marks that I can make are a bit, uh, or the way that I can use the pencil is a little bit limiting. The way that I can hold it, you know, I can't quite hold it like a like I could. Um, but all of these things, maybe in a way, they could sort of add to the way that I'm able to work. That's um that's not a great start. quite like drawing with a pencil, the simplicity of it. Uh, it's a, such a simple tool for, for making marks, but the variety of marks that you can make with a pencil is quite, it's quite great really, uh, depending on how you use it, you know, whether you use the point or, or whether you use the edge of the, the pencil, you get different sort of marks. So I'm just looking at the sandy area and there's quite a quite a nice texture where I suppose lots of people have walked through it so it's sort of been disturbed. And also just the, with a pencil, the variety of um, sort of light and dark marks that you can make is quite great as well by just, you know, just applying more pressure. And the, I suppose there'll be some people watching this maybe thinking, well, I think Craig normally makes uh, videos about ceramics. But um, this is part of ceramics. For me, it, this is part of making my work. Drawing is a way of discovering shapes and it's a way of, in, it's a sort of experimental uh, part of the process. It's, it's a way of discovering new things. Uh, and this, this drawing might not lead to anything. Uh, anything specific but then again it might it might lead to a sort of new development in my ceramic work so uh, sketchbook works really really important to me very much part of the process i think i, I think a sketchbook is a way of 
it's a place where I feel I can be not too precious. I can be quite experimental. It doesn't matter if it doesn't work. Uh, you just turn the page and start again. I think it's quite interesting how you can get definition just in a, in a pencil drawing between different areas by just making different marks and having different sort of contrasts. But I am going to add some colour into this as well because colour because colour colour is important to me. Um, texture is important, but but uh, this this landscape is very much about colour colour as well. I quite like the simplicity of the colour in this particular image um it is there's the, the the grass green yellow color and then there's the color of the sand and then there's the color of the, the sky and it really seems like there's sort of three different types of color three different areas um but i but i love the richness of the the color as well because the, although this this is uh grass and it's you look at it and you say it's green but there's also there's certainly bits of yellow in there I'm always I always think I can see purple as well where some sometimes I say look at that it looks purple to, you know if I'm with somebody and and they go what are you what are you looking at I can't see purple but some of these darker areas have a little bit of readiness to them I'm sure of it to me they do And the sky here is um it was a it was a gray day and the sky was pretty flat it was it, pretty uninteresting really it's because sometimes you get marks in the sky as well of, diff of cloud shapes airplanes that have flown through the sky the way that the wind had blown the clouds but today it was and it was pretty flat These are water soluble pencil cranes uh, and adding a bit of water just does something to the the mark that you can make as well. I don't want to um I don't like to overwork it with water but but a, a brush using a brush adds yet another type of mark as well. And it just mixes the colours a little bit. So, see, having a having a broken wrist has kind of forced me to hold this brush a little bit differently, and that in itself leads to maybe discovering something new. Yeah, but I think I'd normally hold it like that. But then my hand's rubbing against the the page, which is a little bit uncomfortable. So just by holding it at the end, it gives you a different sort of control, maybe less control. Perhaps that's no bad thing. And then um, I do like these, these grasses that uh, just go above the horizon. There's, there's um, in the photograph, they're a little bit, faint a little bit distant so i suppose i'm going to overemphasize that by making them a little bit bigger but it's quite a nice sort of contrasting mark that they're very quite fine lines fine lines amongst you know, bigger bolder um, areas of areas of color
So uh, thinking ahead, like to maybe how this might get used as a ceramic piece. I quite I like the, these shapes, the way that that shape interlocks with this shape, and that that could end up being you know, something on the surface of a piece of ceramics. Maybe these are some of the other the other drawings that I've done already. Little, some some of them are just such quick sketches, literally take a few seconds. And also in the sketchbook, you can see here, I'm beginning to think about something more three-dimensional and how these marks might be applied to a, a ceramic piece uh, like this as well. You, know, you can see the sort of maybe the dune landscape in here, but then I just sort of thought about, well, how, you know, it, it, this, this could be a three-dimensional object. Uh, 